Hello, this is H.U. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force! How do you even know she has a cheery voice if she's not saying anything? How does that even work? Oh, now she has a cheery voice. Okay, there we go. Ruffy! Aw, oh, Ruffy has a girlfriend. Who looks like she's six years old. Although she is 15. So. Well, maybe if we had something other than lizards to hunt around here. And for once, we have a female protagonist who doesn't have a chest the size of her head. Yes, there are women with normal-sized breasts. Or maybe they're just flat, period. I don't know. Yep, he's got a new girlfriend. Sorry, you're out. Apparently she's a prophet or something or other like that. I don't know. Prepare, preparing what? Oh, beds. Why do you have so many beds in your place if you're ready for us? What is this, a hotel? Maybe it's a fancy orphanage. I don't know. But anyway, now we're starting phase two to take on um, the next monolith at Nerval. Where did we go, anyway, after the Tower of Judgment? Oh. You were teleported, just like every other time. Hey, hey all right, we made it to uh, Soleil Lake. Or Lake Soleil, however you want to do it. Oh, wow, well, that was easy. Sounds like a plan. I wouldn't worry about that. It's probably not important. Only God lives on the top floor! But other than that, nah, it's not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, let's go. Why do you keep on winking at me? Don't answer that, viewers. Oh, a sister, huh? Oh, okay. I think technic Well, let me let me see. Hold on a sec. Yeah, I wonder if uh the whole uh Well, no, 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 you know what? I'm going to uh save that for later. I don't want to spoil the plot. Well, thanks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear all the enemies in the area, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's go start at the top and work our way down as far as treasures go. Now after killing all those enemies, one thing that happened was I used up... Oh, I also used up my Blaze King. Okay. Well, I used up my Arrow Orb. So the thing is, is that now what you could do, even though I've used it up, I can't really use it anymore. You could use it to create an arrow cane, even though the arrow orb is totally used up. So it still has a function there. So I'm going to do that. But I really don't like the arrow cane because... Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a red aspect, not a white aspect, which is what I want. So what I'm going to do is just make that into an arrow cane, and then you can get 500 force points out of it. So even your dead... Uh, yeah, even your dead uh, orbs can still be useful to you. It's not like you just use them up and then they're gone and then that's it. So, I really like how they do that in this game. Let's see, for a blaze cane, I need an igneous orb. And then we make that. Aha! Okay, now we got another one there. So, yeah, I'm almost out of my uh, hyper cane there too. That is one thing I really like about what the, how this game handles those spear effects or consumable battle items. They're powerful enough to be useful, but they're not so powerful that you'll just use them all the time and the game will be boring. So, Anyway, here's a harvest point. 
Aw, man. Oh, well. We got shiitakes from that one. Uh, you can also rarely get a mushroom called matsutake, which is, this is the only way in the game to get them. It's a rare drop, but it's not that rare. So sooner or later, you'll probably get one from it, and uh, you need that in order to do a side quest later on. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'll worry about that later. Not right now. So, I'll, I will show you a solution, viewers. But anyway, put the squirrel in the crack there. And the squirrel came out of the crack. And we get the binoculars. Not that it's a great accessory, but it's something. Basically, what it lets you do is it lets you see all enemies on the battlefield. So, even though I'm way over here, you can see enemies all the way over there. How many enemies are on the total map. So, it's really nice there. I'm not going to equip it all the time, but it's nice to have. Now, if you try to go through here, you're being blocked by invisible plot wall. So, yeah, you can't uh, go to the altar of Nervel yet. But get some more mistletoes. Awesome. Uh, oh, there it is. It's like, why aren't I moving? Over here, we got another harvest point for the hit grasses. Those are used for cooking there. And let's see, I think there's... Yes. Just a... Hidden treasure! Silver vine! Used for a cooking recipe as well. Normally there'd be enemies all over the place, but like I said, I already killed them. So. Ooh, nice. I could use that. I'm gonna save the electric orb for later. Oh, and let's get rid of that thing. It's only worth one force point, and there's nothing else to do with it. But save the electric orb for later. We'll need that eventually. Oh, wait, hold on. There's uh, another one up here, I think. See, is that up there, or is it down there? Let's see. It's gotta be around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. And down here, we get the Rock Lizard. No wonder they, they have Rock Lizard stew all the time. They're all over the place. And let's see. This Harvest Point has Rock Lizards, or you'll sometimes get Shiitakes there. So both are used for cooking recipes, which will be really nice for us to get. Oh, and if you try going south there, uh, the exit there, uh, you can't leave right now. So, one thing that happens a lot of, throughout the game is you will, a uh, new side quest will show up after each phase. That seems to be the trigger for a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them are like that. So, normally what I would like to do is go back to Palfina and get a whole bunch of new side quests, but I can't do that right now. Hmm? Oh. Yeah, didn't you see that huge purple cloud of smoke? How do you miss something like that? I mean, you were there. I'm just giving you a hard time, Raffi. Oh. Good job, Luffy. In time, you will call me Master. No, just kidding, viewers. Oh, I wonder where that Ravenna castle is. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably not important. Why? I'm the gardener. Or a scholar. Looks pretty buff there for a scholar. Maybe he just uses the force to give him a nice six pack. Holy cow. Wish I could do that, but sadly, I cannot. H.C. Bailey does not have the body of a Greek god. Yeah, I, I didn't sign up for this. Well, that is true. Aw, how humble. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're probably right there, Raffi. Uh, you didn't answer my question. You just kind of trailed off.
Yeah, she keeps on whacking me upside the head with it every time I make a snarky remark. <laughs> We're gonna go on adventures and you'll probably get brutally murdered! <laughs> Isn't that great? Uh, no? We're not... related. Oh, that works. Just call me by my name. CC! C2? No. No. Hooray! I have a new big sister. Oh! What are you having for dinner? Bacon! No. No, just kidding. Probably rock lizard stew again. Don't you like food? Maybe they got some fish for you. No. No, that's no. Oh. Well, now you have. What are you doing out here in the middle of nowhere anyway? And you have no... Well, I guess you got a lot of resources, but whatever. There's a lot of harvest points here in Lake Slale. Everything that is happening now is happening. Happening there now is happening now. We're at now now. 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 Hmm. I wonder. So that's why we were able to get through there. Apparently it does. How do you miss something like that? There's a big tower in the center of the world. Uh, how do you not see that? Oh, I'm just exaggerating, viewers. But it seems kind of odd that they wouldn't know about that. Maybe he's just playing dumb for some reason. I don't know. Ooh, unfortunately, we can... Well, actually, fortunately, we cannot cook any seafood in this game. No, no, they'll, they'll give you terrible stomach aches. Food poisoning. No. Yeah, of course they're good. <laughs> I just like the look on Gardner's face like... Uh, not again. Not again! But, okay. I am Vishnu, the Destroyer! Or, I am Virtus, the Destroyer. Well, let's move up. Well, thanks for the meal, Luffy. We're going to head on over to the uh, altar, and uh, we'll get back to you then. Aww. Oh, all of us? Well, I guess someone has to babysit Luffy, so. Sounds like a plan. Better to eat too much. There's plenty of cooking reagents around here. Just gotta learn how to cook. But alright, we got more party members with Lufina. Uh, she is also a Hexus. So I, I was saying earlier, I wonder if uh, being a Hexus is like her a hereditary sort of thing. Because, like, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, he's 15, she's 15. So, yeah, they're twins. Well, it says so right there. They're twins. So, yeah, I just wonder about that. It's like a Luke and Leia thing going on there. But anyway, okay, so she has the Algentaria. 
Let's see. There's a whole bunch of uh, stuff we can get here, so let's uh, let's do that first. Uh, oh, yeah. First things first. I need to uh, move her to the back row there. That'll help out. And uh, we got the 10,000 forest points that I'm going to use today, so we'll get to that in just a moment. So let's not invest anything. Oh, I also want to uh, create some equipment for her. Let's get an Asperex. And let's see, another pair of traveling shoes. If you have enough for the wind boots, great. But I'm going to play as though you don't. So, and that ought to be good enough for now. Okay, so let's get some treasure. See, we got more silver vines. Can never have enough of that. See, we got sharp fangs, another crafting tool, or crafting item. Here we get the bizarre recipe. That's a very important recipe for a side quest later on. So remember that for later, viewers. Here we get uh, ash lumbers, or you can also get oak lumbers there instead. Let's see, in the well, we got another harvest point. Numitakes. You can also get uh, green lavers in there as well. And let's start scanning for more stuff. A whole bunch of treasures around here. Ooh, Malleus. I want to hold on to that for later. It's not critical. You may want to uh, just sell it. Or not sell it, uh, convert it. Yeah, there is no selling in this game. Yeah, let's just convert it. By the time it might be useful, it'll be gone. Okay, so, let's see. One more thing over here. Okay. So, now what I want to do is... Well, let's head on over to the Altar of Nervel. You know, I'd stop the episode right here. But I really want to show you how I'm going to break the game today. <laughs> so, oh yeah, by the way, with this area... Yeah, you can't uh, rotate the camera angle, so... You you kind of can't see where the enemies are, so that's another reason why the binoculars are really nice here. So that way I can more easily just avoid them, like so. We'll do that. Just head on over here. Well, let's see what's going on at this place. This is where the next monolith is, huh? Well, of course. Of course there's monsters everywhere. It's like mines in an RPG. It's like they always have uh, monsters in them. Has, has a mine ever been used for its intended purpose in an RPG? I mean, any RPG. Japanese, Western, whatever. I've never seen that. Like, ever. Just as Count Dooku predicted. I mean, uh, uh, Lufina. Sorry, that's the best uh, General Grievous impression you're going to get from me. I only do Palpatine. Grievous, not so much. Ah. Hmm? Saw that one coming. How would you even know how to do that? Training what? Don't answer that, viewers. Yeah, I'm older. I mean, w once you hit 17, th that's it. Your energy goes. It's gone. Let's do it! Okay, so, first things first. Let's uh, scan this area. And we get more leaf hit grasses. All right. Let's see. Okay, we got that. That, that, that. Wait, there, is there another one? Oh, uh, yeah, I think there is another chest. For... Oh, wait, no, it's down here. Okay, now I remember. There's a couple harvest points around here, but I don't want to pick them up just yet. So I will take care of that in just a moment. But for now, let's get the power orb there. And let's convert that. Never have enough. And now we're finally going to put those 10,000 force points to use. Go over here, scan. Remember uh, at the black precipice where they wanted us to infuse some force? Now we need to use some force. So, 
or use force points to do that. And it's totally worth it. We will make our money back very, very fast on this investment. So yeah, it's probably my, one of my top three ex favorite accessories in the game. It is that good. So let's take a look around here through a secret passage. Yeah, this part is completely isolated from the rest of the dungeon, so there's uh, no way you can get here without investing the 10,000, but it's totally worth it. Okay, and for taking out all those guys, we get our prize, one of the best accessories in the game, the Discerning Specs. So let's equip those on the Fina there. Basically what they do, now it says higher quality items, but I like to be a little more specific than that. I think the Discerning Specs do three things. Uh, one, it increases the quantity of items that you can get from a harvest. So you don't have to do as much harvesting to get something that you need. Uh, the second thing is that it changes the, I think, it, well, it does, change the drop table of the items. There's certain items that you cannot get without the discerning specs. And the third thing it does is it reveals hidden harvest points, like that one I sh told you about back at Midday Highway there. So, okay, so there's Taurine Apples. Uh, that can also contain something else. I'd have to look it up here real quick. But anyway, this one always contains rock lizards. Unfortunately, I just did not get that many. Okay, that other harvest point before there, it contains mistletoes instead of taurine apples. So, okay, I already got Natsutake's, or not that, I already used that harvest point, and it probably hasn't regenerated yet. So, let's just go up here. Now, for the most obscene thing I know in the game. With Narcissus. Now, remember I was telling you about how you could just use a Narcissus to make an Nova, and then d dismantle that, to get 2,000 force points. So over here, let's, uh, well, attack it, whatever. Break down the wall. But yeah, remember I was telling you about the Narcissus. It's kind of interesting how I figured that out, because no one told me about that. I was just using one of those harvest orbs later in the game where you get Narcissus, and I was like, what the hell can I use this for? And I found out, and I was like, ooh. Now if you go over here, Get a treasure, nothing I really care about. Probably just dismantle that. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just get rid of that. And, okay, so, you see I removed the discerning specs. You go over here, there's nothing here. Uh, you can even try examining it like a hidden treasure without force scanning, and you still can't find it. But, if you equip the discerning specs, you get the best harvest point in the game. <laughs> Narcissus! Two of them! Holy cow! So you got two of those. Use that to create an Eden, Eden, two Eden Novas. Now we've got four grand more force points. Every time you fight five battles, you can come back here, harvest more of them. It is obscene. You'll be able to max out your Ragnifax in no time. But can we make it to the monolith before the bad guys do? Find out next time on Let's Play Hexes Force! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.